As much as it pains me to say, these Ninjago 2024 summer sets are pretty spot on. And we're going to rank each one, 1 through 10. We being Daniel Lewa, the expert, and myself. They're in no particular order whatsoever. Number one, the Tournament Temple City. Well, it's fair enough that we do this one first because this one's actually coming out sooner than the rest of the sets. This one is coming out on June 1st. The rest of the sets will be releasing on August 1st for us commoners. Now... Tournament Temple City, at a first glance, does look pretty familiar, but Daniel Label, how do you feel about this? It's pretty nice. Yeah, there is a lot going on, and the asymmetry definitely draws the eye. The colors are really pleasing. The layout is pretty aesthetic, especially having it raised up on the terrain. The terrain does take up quite a bit of the build, but it adds a much needed kind of layer and extra excitement. Well, I'm glad it has that underground yeah. cave. I mean, one, because it houses the dragon, which is interesting. And two, because I think that's the one thing that differentiates this set the most compared to other Temple Dojo sets that we've received. Because a lot of them have this very similar silhouette with the bridge on the side and then the building up here on the right. So when I first saw it, I was like, wait, are we just getting the same stuff, guys? Well, as we can see here, here's the back of it. And yes, now we are. It's unveiled that this is a facade. This temple is a facade, okay? Let's get that through our heads. This is a facade. And we are now seeing revealed on our screen the potential price for this set. So unfortunately, this does look like a $250 set. And it's 3,489 pieces, so maybe this is a deal, but I don't know when you're looking at it, does it really feel like a $250 set? It's hard to say because like I said, with the, the varying components and the extra terrain, it feels like the Pagoda itself is probably like a $80 thing. And then kind of you have the side builds, 150. So it's like that terrain block train takes up another $100. So that's tough. It's a tough value proposition for what you get, especially so much of what you'll be building is terrain. Granted, it looks really nice. Jago fans, are you buying this one? Please let us know. Here is all the minifigures. Uh, there are some new ones that we don't know the names of, but if you do know the names of some of these new minifigures, please write them in the comments below. We do obviously have the usuals, Lloyd, Cole, Zane, Nia, Aaron, Wildfire, Lord Ross, Jordana, the Pale Man returning from Tournament of Elements, a new mystery Sensei Wu looking guy, and then some other kind of civilian people. So price to piece, it makes sense. Many figures, it makes sense, but it's up to the audience. Are you guys going to buy this set for 250 US dollars? Dragon is pretty cute. It's a unique color. We haven't seen really any dragons of that. What are you going to rate this tournament Temple City 1 through 10? It's really nice. I think it looks really great. The value isn't quite there, I think, but that aside, I would give it a 9. I would go ahead and give it a 7, okay, I'm sorry. Smallest set of this wave coming out August 1st is Zane's Ice Motorcycle. And let's take it for what it is. It is a small pickup set that is going to retail for 10 US dollars. But for what it is, it's not bad whatsoever. Best feature here is that the icicles actually open up and provide more of a widespread threat. It's nice to have something at this price point, easy pickups for people or people who... We don't have enough to shell out for the crazy expensive stuff because there's a lot of that too. It only comes with one fig, uh, which is what it is, but granted all of the new outfits for the ninja in this wave are really nice and they look really good together. So at least you can get the new Zane this way. Quick stocking stuffer for the middle of August. Mm -hmm. Rank this for what it is. I'm giving it an eight out of 10. Yeah, I'll give it a six out of 10. Okay. What it is. That was harsh on the bike. Um, Come on, bro. If take it for a $10 set for what it is, this is not that bad. I've seen some Ninjago small sets that are nightmare worthy. It'd be nice with like just one wolf mask warrior or something okay, like that. Fair one, enough, fair one, enough, fair enough, fair figure. enough, fair enough. Tournament Battle Arena. Sora's back and she has burning red eyes and something is up. Guys, what's happening in the show? Please explain. So these wolf mask warriors are getting a new buff and also a new upgrade. They are having you know, purple masks as well as a red undertone. And we have these new liquidy claw things coming out the back. This is blood. Guys, this should be 18 plus and this should be rated MA. <laughs> he literally has blood claws coming out. This looks like a minifigure pack. The build itself, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about all this. But minifigure wise, this might actually be the one to get. Yeah, that's great. Kind of cool having the giant gong. I imagine that's going to be used to trigger the Wolf Mask Warriors. If you've seen the show, you know. Also, the red on the Wolf Mask Warriors may be representative of them doing Shatter Spin, their version of Spin Jitsu. The, the nicest part of this is being able to actually battle and fight each other by turning the mechanism 
it looks like these platforms rock back and forth, which is pretty cool. And of course, kind of the Sensei Wu, Master Wu looking statue. This is not necessarily a gong, Daniel Ewa. This is more reminiscent of like a taiko or something, the big drums mm. in Japan. But it, you know, it does look like it's for a wartime setting. So nice battle arena to fight different characters with each other. $50 though. $50 for 659 pieces doesn't seem too atrocious. Is anybody going to be opening their wallets and giving out $50 for this on August 1st? Seems pretty worth it, especially considering that this is going to be a pretty relevant location. Uh, Lord Raz spoilers for the show, but he references that he's going to basically do some damage during the Tournament of the Sources. Oh, okay. And so I imagine that this is kind of what that's going to be. But, the, but it's cool being a tournament and co containing so many unique minifigures. We do have Kai, Sora, Cole. We have Cinder, a wolf mask warrior. And exclusive to the set, Evil J and Tox. Tox is cool because she showed up in the original Tournament of Elements season as the mass. Well, she showed up in the original Tournament of Ele Elements season, and she's also a super villain in the Lego Ultra Agents theme. Mm. So she's popping up yet again here, which is a little interesting crossover. One through ten, how do you feel? For the figures, I would give it a seven. The build doesn't do a lot for me. Build wise, it's like a six. I'm gonna give it a seven as well, 100%. Next up on the docket is Ninja Team Combo Vehicle. Is the Ultra Stealth Raider just back, guys? Can we come up with a new kind of vehicle that's not too big treads and too deployable motorcycles? At least this is kind of like a new take on that. It doesn't look exactly the same as the previous ones. It doesn't mean it necessarily does anything better than the Ultra Sonic Raider or the Ultra Stealth Raider. But it's, you know, it's a fresh. Well, I have a trivia question for you then. How much did the Ultra Stealth Raider cost? The one that you have. The original Stealth Raider was $100, but it was also substantially bigger and had more side builds and stuff like that going on. So you're telling me it was 10 more dollars than this one, which is $90, and had almost double the amount of pieces and was yep. just... Okay, well, that's a little disappointing. If you guys like this, let us know. I think the problem is all the vehicles together doesn't look great and all the builds separated don't look that great either. Yeah, I, I do have to say though, as a tank lover, all growing up, I loved the Lego tanks. This at least kind of scratches that itch with just these huge giant treads on the front. But yeah, generally as a whole, it doesn't quite come together. We got both girls, that's great. We got Lloyd, Cole, Nia, and Sora and two wolf maskers we have the most wolf mask warrior and wolf mask general that's cool with this kind of dual-sided shoulder piece has claws on one side and hair on the other side many figures of this whole wave seem pretty on point but one through ten what mm -hmm. would you rank this one for the value alone it's like a five it's, it's really bad value but you get decent figs and uh it's a tank so it's a little bit of personal bias so i'll give it a five okay i'll give it a five or six as well 100 agree not saying this is a bad set whatsoever Go ahead and buy it, and you may enjoy it. Wee woo, wee woo, heater alert. Oh my gosh, ah, Cole's Titan Dragon Mech. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Is this the best Lego set I've ever seen in my life? Yes, oh, wow. I'll just skip to it. It's a 10 out of 10, obviously. It's a 12 out of 10. Oh my gosh, what the heck am I looking at? I don't know what Cole is on, but uh, it must be something good. Cole's on to something, I'll tell you that much. So $100 for 1,055 pieces, perfect. We do, the main complaint people are having with this set is one singular minifigure cool there's a, something a teensy bit iconic about that cutting the fluff in the side bills and like this is just cool and his raw mech that's a little bit cool but i understand you're not getting as many figures for the value this is just so unique like you do not see white pieces really ever in coal vehicles or coal sets and the fact that they're integrated so artistically into the ends of the legs and the ends of the arms and just the shaping of the legs themselves is like wow oh my gosh so we just did our our top 100 mechs ranking. <sighs> I think this would have to be the number one mech now. I, I'm, I'm thinking back on the previous mechs, like there are really good ones. Ultra Combo mech's great. The Monkey King Ultra mech is great. But it feels like they put all $100 into just making the most possibly best mech ever. Cutting in all the extra stuff they could have added to fill out that price. And it really works on all levels. The colors, the shaping. It's completely articulated at every joint, potentially even waist articulation we didn't complain a little about how every mech nowadays just has a sword or a katana in our mech video but if you're gonna have a katana you might as well have the dune ornithopter blade <laughs> as your katana this is pretty much perfect in every way there's not a single downside really and maybe it's recency bias of ranking this the number one mech of all time but time will tell obviously we don't know what the back looks like and you know maybe our ranking will go down but this is beautiful i cannot wait obviously only one figure to talk about 
but ranking wise i'm gonna go ahead and give it a certified 12 out of 10 first time ever on the channel wow the best the best set you've new set you've ever seen on the channel hey man besides like avengers tower yeah man this thing is yeah come on let's can we be real with ourselves look at this thing I'm, i mean i'm not gonna deny that it's a perfect mech it really is the colors the hints of orange and it's kind of like a clear focal point in the chest maybe something that the Nuja's Ring of Fire mech is lacking just a little more color cohesion and it's hard when it's coming out in the same wave as this one where you have something that, that it does everything perfectly it's like ah, oh, you could do this but for Nuja as well that'd be awesome oh bro i'm so excited to put this with the titan mechs all lined up what would you give it daniel 10 10. 10 easy 10. okay well we have one last heater to go through and it's a literal heater the source dragon of motion here we are and dragon ninjago dragons rising they have been building up source dragons as like the craziest things ever they're basically godlike entities in the ninjago world so to see our very first source dragon as a set is pretty amazing and i would say that this lives up to those expectations we know also that the source dragon of motion is the source of power for wildfire and kai's powers and maybe some others and so seeing it as bright red and having Kai and Wildfire come with this is pretty perfect, honestly. I previously said that Kai's fire dragon attack was the pinnacle fire dragon, but this is surely to take its place immediately because, wow, the designers were onto something great with this. I actually really especially love the throne at the top, sort of where the wolf gang has kind of domesticated this source dragon i don't know how they did that but it adds a whole aura to it where this could be a villainous dragon under that control maybe your imagination could do whatever you want but some people were complaining there's not a lot of big villain builds within this this maybe could be considered one it kind of looks like it with that giant chair on top of it with gong so that's kind of cool the dragon could be on good guy side bad guy side but bro just look at this thing and i didn't even notice that first all these little things around it are flaming fire dragons this has a literal aura of familiars around it just surrounding it like what a great idea, not just for the images, but also the box art, because it like fills the space in such an epic way. 1,716 pieces for $150. Sounds fair to me. Yeah, for what, for what you get, it is pretty fair. I think the designer has been watching a little too much Lord of the Rings, because this is literally an Oliphant from yes. uh, Return of the King. That's, That's getting, so cool. I was getting huge yeah. Lord of the Rings vibes from that. And I'm like, that is just awesome. The minifigures are Kai, Wildfire, Eren, we also have the villains, Lord Roz, Jordana, and one Wolf Mask Warrior. So nice six figures. Getting Lord Roz is nice. And of yeah. course, the two people who get their powers from the Source Dragon of Motion. Oh, as far as dragons go, this is a 10 out of 10 dragon. This is this is a 10 out of 10 dragon. 100% 10, 10 out of 10 for me as well. There's no way this would be less than a 10. Maybe we'll discover some things once we build it and articulation wise, but it looks pretty poseable. It looks pretty menacing on display and it looks like an awesome build. What else could you even want from a Lego set? If you could rank this Summer Wave overall, 1 out of 10, Ninjago Expert, what would you give it? Well, I haven't seen part 2 of Ninjago Season 2 yet, because that's not quite out yet. I would give this whole wave an 8 out of 10. Have some really, really high highs. Like, 10 out of 10 mechs and dragon. Uh, and then some just like, uh, some okay, like the, the bike and the combo vehicle. Tournament, but the Tournament City is definitely also a highlight. I don't think it's like necessarily the craziest, coolest location build of all time. We've had so many good ones now at this point in Ninjago and MK and everything, but it's still really good. So incredible wave, uh, eight out of 10. I agree with the eight out of 10. I love the diversification of this portfolio of this wave. A lot of different things for different people. Uh, I think the mech and dragon kind of carrying it a lot. Which ones would you guys be buying? The dragons are finally rising and everybody's going to be happy about it. So let's open our hearts and open our wallets and let's let more dragons rise into our home.